The stub pin is held in at the back by a socket head cap screw. Some people call them Allen bolts. There are two different sizes which complicate things a little bit and there are two different diameters so there's quite a combination of options. Before you've actually removed the old one it's easy enough to order the correct one. You simply measure the bearing diameter, 39 mil, and you have to tell me which bolt you, you have in the back. So the head of this bolt is 30 millimeters diameter. This is a 20 mil bolt. Head of the 22 mil bolt is 33 mil diameter. Because it's flush with the hole, you can't get in to use a caliper properly. What you can do is set the caliper, line it up with the outside diameter of the uh, bolt, and this one's 30 millimeter, so that tells it's a 22 mil bolt. This one here, when it's in the hole, you can line it up. You can use the office ruler if you want, and that will tell you that this one is 33. So if you just hold the office ruler again across the hole, you can judge whether it's um, 30 millimeter or 33. So you don't need to have the bolt out in order to order the pin, as long as you can measure the bearing, and that tells you whether it's 20 mil or 22 mil. There are four pins, two bearing diameters, and two a, a choice of two bolts, 20 millimeters and 22 millimeters. So we have the various options. We have a 34 mil diameter bearing with a 24, a 20 mil bolt. We have a 34 mil diameter bearing with a 22 mil bolt in the back, and then we've got 39 and 20, and we've got 39 and 22. There is another one, it's a big one with a huge nut on the back. They never seem to go wrong. We don't actually make them yet. If the market was there, we would make them as well. But we make all these in-house in our CNC machine, made of very high tensile steel and ready to work. They're removed using an Allen key. This is one we made ourselves. It's an impact socket with a 17 millimeter Allen key, which we've cut down and brazed in. Not very pretty, but it does the job. They've used a little bit of Loctite, very sparingly, but that's sufficient to hold it. We'll slot these in the hole. We don't need to replace the bolt unless it's broken, which is really unusual. When you're using a power tool, always put the threads in a good way so that it can't go wrong when you put the power on. This tool is a lot more powerful than it needs to be. The tightening torque for these bolts is 840 newton meters as recommended by the manufacturer. They come loose every day. We get three or four calls about this problem with the bolts coming slack. So obviously 840 is not enough. This tool goes up to nearly 2000 so we don't labour it, we'll give it two seconds, maybe three, on the tightening at the very end of the tightening uh, torque, and that's the job done. So that's it in, two seconds, and that's it. That's all you need to do. If, it, if you have a slack stub pin where you go to try to tighten up the, the nut, and the whole thing turns, all you need to do is get this tool, a three quarter inch impact wrench, 17 millimeter Allen key, and two seconds, three at the most, and that's it tight. That's all you need to do. Don't labor with the trigger, just two or three seconds, and the job's done.